take control. You go for it, man. What was your first kiss like? My first kiss. Have you had one yet? No, actually. Oh, damn. How old is bro? I actually have not kissed a girl ever in my entire life. Okay, you want to kiss me? Chad, how old do you think this man is, man? Do you want to? To never kiss okay. a girl. Uh, take control. You go for it, man. Yo! Yo! How they do that to bro? How you do that to bro? Nah! Bitch like this, bro, that I hate. Don't leave my man's on. Yeah, he ain't never had a kiss. My God. I feel bad for him. You gonna make me shed a tear though. Yo, chat. Who hasn't kissed a girl in chat, man? Let me know. Be honest though. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with it, but just let me know. Dating is hard, but dating as a man is even harder. Actually, no. When was your first kiss? I wanna know. This can be attributed to societal double standards. Let's just talk about the most obvious one first: height and weight. If we had to pick a height in a guy, what height would we pick? What's the most attractive height in a guy? 5'11". 5'11 and above? Yeah, yeah. If we had to pick a height... <laughs> nah, I'm saying. <laughs> nah, I'm saying. I'm not saying I want, I want this. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not saying I want her. But I'm just saying. I'm qualified tight shit. Okay. What's the most attractive height in a guy? 5'11". In a guy, what height would we pick? Six, no five. troll, no troll chat. My first kiss was when I was five. Not counting like my mom or like your dad or like no family members. Like... I'm talking about a girl like that you don't know, that you're not related to. My first kiss, I remember, because I've been remembering for a long, I've been conscious for a minute now. Like, when I was five, bro. Hell yeah, I was slanging. Lots Even of back women then, want bro. a guy who's six foot shit. tall, but I hate to break it to you because most guys are actually like 5'8". When he's six foot, when he's six foot one, when he's six foot plus, and his biceps is big enough to crush my head. Okay, should I just start saying I'm six foot, bro? Cause realistically, like, what's the difference between five eleven six foot man? Let me throw on some some church shoes. You feel me? And I'm there, tight shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me throw on them church shoes and I'm there. Height is not something you can control. You can't sure? okay. physically get taller. So if you're a short guy, you're basically cooked. You, you just got like the short end of the stick. Pun Facts. intended. Your chances of getting a girlfriend are significantly decreased just because of your height. You Ooh, can be the Chad, how tall are y'all, man? Drop most your handsome looking in, guy in the world. You could look like Brad Pitt, but if you're four foot, you're you're feet. You're actually just feet. Now you know I'm not against preferences. You know people can have their preferences. Six foot seven. Six foot seven. Are you kidding? Okay, we got five nine, five five, five ten, five seven. So none of you in chat are taller than me, but Trey, and y'all be on my make that make sense. This is when they select a partner, but the fact that you're going to Trey being immediately for real? like eliminate over half the population Damn, of men just because of how tall they are seems kind of silly to me. Shout out to all my far quads out there. I really wish you luck in the dating scene. <laughs> far I can't relate. You know, I was born I'm seven feet that. tall. Shout out God. Uh, I was gonna play for the Lakers, but shout, shout, shout out God for so, real, man. You know, it's redundant at this point. We don't need another Shaq. Uh, so I decided to do YouTube. I figured that would be a better route. But the real problem arises when men start talking about their own dating preferences. Most men do not want a woman who is fat. Oh no! But Facts. yet that's not socially acceptable to say that. I don't get. Oh no! I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna stand on business though. I ain't want no fat hub. Stay far away. Thank you. This is my preference, honey. Just like how you be like, yo, you ain't want no guy that's five foot five or whatever. I don't want no fat hub. Yo, we gonna react to that after. There's this guy who went around, you know, weighing girls, saying I don't want my girl, you know, this certain weight type shit. So I think it's a, uh, it's a good comparison, bro. Why women can say that they want a tall guy, but and apparently a guy men can't we say can't that have they our preferences, want a woman right? who's not so, fat. Hey. Does height matter? Of course it does. Step on the scale. I'm not going on the scale. 
You should love a girl for who they are. You should love a guy for who they are. Now, regardless of oh, <laughs> speaking of which, this is the video I was talking about, man. This is the man. This is the man. You know what I'm saying? I've seen a clip. Not this clip in particular, but another clip on Twitter, bro. Look, just watch. Take it back. He goes around and waves them, bro. It's too no, funny. You're, you're, you're being a coward. Wait, you're ridiculous. What the hell is even the point of the body positivity movement if we're going to be shaming guys for being short? Literally something they can't control. Either, but yet we're going to praise women for being fat, even though they could just simply eat less. How is this fair? I don't understand. You know, women can describe their their ideal man with a perfect body, but as soon as a guy does it, then he's he's creepy and sexist and, and weird and he's expecting and too much. Bogus. It's like, can can we just make this an even playing ground? I just find it ridiculous how you know, no matter what shape and size your body is, you're beautiful as long as you're a woman. I mean, we have the audacity. Oh hell no. Nah. Yo, chat, who's smashing? I know one of you guys going crazy on this, though. Like, I know one of you guys going crazy on this right here, man. And to you, I say, like, you know, is everything good? You know what I'm saying? City to call these people plus size to models. Own, I guess. The only thing Whatever that's plus boat, is their blood sugar level. Your... They really should be watching their Damn. calories. I have yet to see a that's fat low, guy though. modeling underwear. I feel like most men don't ask for much, you know? They just, they just need enough to grab onto. Enough to firmly grasp. Today, we will be creating the baddest bitch. <laughs> yo, nah. Look at this. Is, yo, look at this. is 2K. Don't go on air, but hey, time I had a bit back. Look at this. is 2K. Big titty. Lil weight. Nah. Lil weight. He the player build. Megan Stallion. <laughs> Alright, insane. I don't know the fuck that is. Baby, the Custom, customized character, man. Wouldn't that be what? great? <laughs> <laughs> what did that? Yo. Let's be honest, guys. This, I mean, this is a hard no for most. What was that laugh, though? Shout out to Black Man for taking one for the team. And this is where I'd like to segue into I know, another right? major. It'd be, yo, it'd be the fat brothers, man. Like, the, the black brothers. Like, I don't know. For some reason, they like BBWs, man. So, yeah, it's not me, though. The problem men face when they're dating. It's the fact that women are constantly reaffirmed that they're beautiful. Even when they look like a train wreck in human form. Whoopi LF. I mean, I just know. go to any girl's Instagram comments, and you'll see people saying that she's beautiful. You know, her friends will fucking lie to her face. I swear to God, a girl could look like Lizzo. And people in the comments section would be like, wow, you look great. Have you been working out recently? Like, it's just ridiculous. Meanwhile, if you're a guy and you're ugly, people would be like, you ugly sack of shit. You skinny short mother You're never going to get a girlfriend in your life. Looking like the Michelin man should not be a body standard people should be That's how it be, for. man. It's tough out here for me. I don't understand why we keep males, hyping man. up women in society for being beautiful the way they are. Can we? Uh, you know what I think it is, though? I think as males, we just live in reality, man. Like, we just take it how it is. Like, if you ugly, you know you ugly. If you good looking, you probably know you good looking. If you, you know, in between, you probably know you in between. We just take it on the chin. And that's why, like, we make jokes about it because we securing ourselves and shit, you know? But as women, I think they living through the loony, man. Like, they be delusional. They, could, they all they are pretty you know what i'm saying we just accept the fact that some people are ugly and this is a problem because it creates women with giant egos regardless of how attractive they actually are your biggest turn off in guys probably when they don't work out you see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? That is so funny that you say that, bro. <laughs> that is so funny that you say that, bro. Very ironic, right? Delusion. I'm telling you. Peak delusion. They want what they they can't have. Like, how do you want a guy to go to the gym and you look like this? Delusion. Yeah. He's six foot. He's gotta be taller, you know? No? Yeah, just What's up, my boy Nax? Like a yacht and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Buy me fancy things. Yo, she built like a fucking fridge, gang. Who going for this? Hey, my rat. Trey, this is all you, man. Woman, who has a harder life? Absolutely women. Why? We bleed for a uh, week a month. Um, we are f***ing. We're sexualized everywhere we go. Yeah, like cat called? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. The parking lot tenant tried to Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Stop the cat. <laughs> Who's cat calling you, please? Ma'am, I don't think the parking lot attendant could even lift you. Oh my god, bro. Wait, when he's clearly a red flag, but he's tall, has abs and not. So all these girls want is just a tall nigga. We cracked the code, man. Yo, that 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 tall knee length surgery, you know, thing might be might be in. It might be in trend soon, bro. I'm just I'm seeing it. I'm seeing the future, bro. More niggas gonna go. They gonna go for that height extending surgery. I'm already knowing. Oh, GG, man. man. What the fuck?
It's okay to objectify men, but as soon as we objectify women, then it's weird. Small dick energy equals loser, but big dick energy equals cool. Why are we objectifying men's penises? And why are we attributing the size to how cool they are? Most guys don't have a subway foot long, okay? That's not realistic. And I know there are a lot of guys out there who feel shame about how big they are. But as soon as a guy says Miss Flat Tits, everyone pulls out their pitchforks and, and like tries to stab him. And don't even get me started on bald men. Taking away guys' hair is like taking away girls' makeup. But again, you know, being bald so is something true. you can't control. It's really unfair out here for men. GG's if I win enough bro, already geez. a lot of women prefer a guy who makes money how much money should a guy make per year uh at least right, you would have to nerf me man at that point <laughs> meanwhile these women who require a guy to make hundreds of thousands of dollars are perfectly content with providing absolutely nothing of value you ask these women you know what do you bring to the table and they have the nerve to say chat say with me chat say with me but i am the table i am the table i am the table Stupid ass bitch. Like, oh, you gonna get me so mad. Oh, you about to. Oh, let me stop. Let me stop. Um, I am the table. Bitch, what the fuck am I gonna do with the table? Okay, you know what? It's fine. They they don't provide that much, but could they at least provide emotional support? Ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way. I want this man to be vulnerable with me for so long. He finally called me yesterday and I opened up, but the second he started crying, I lost all interest in him quickly. This is a safe space, but not that safe. <laughs> Yo, chat, this shit is not making sense. Women do not make sense. And that's that's just how it is, man. What? Boy, ain't no way, is she okay? Boy. No, she's not. Silly Mentally. me. I forgot when you're a guy, you're not allowed to cry. You're telling me that I'm not allowed to show my emotions, but at the same time, you want a guy who's emotionally present? Yeah. What the f***? So these women want this and that, you know, they have high standards. So will they go out and seek someone that will meet their criteria? No, no, mm -hmm. they You're won't. You're telling me <laughs> they have all these demands for a partner, but they're not even going to put the effort into trying to find someone that meets what they want? Hell no. Nah. Yeah. I mean, at this point, men should just start dating each other. You know, we all like... Whoa. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, 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 huh? All right, man, I was agreeing with this video up until now, but like, you, you kind of took a little too far right there, man. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, nah. Uh, that one right there is a little. I like the same things. We get along really well. You know, why do we even need women at this point? Too no much ditty. work. Not only do we have to initiate basically everything, you know, make all the first moves, but then we're also expected to be like paying for for dates and shit where where does it end so this is where the problem lies you know women want this and that but yet they don't put any effort towards it and then they wonder where all the decent guys are it's hard to stay positive when society is constantly kicking the shit out of you a lot of these guys say, don't learn how to pick themselves back up after failure and that's how they become incels Women's egos turns a lot of men towards the black pill community. And that's essentially the yeah, belief might be a that if you're not born a, a Chad, <laughs> then you're never going to get a girlfriend in your entire life. Obviously, that's not true. But most people don't realize how much work it actually takes to get a girlfriend. Men aren't born confident in their looks. It takes years and years. I mean, some are. Uh, you're speaking for a majority. Some are very confident in themselves. I've seen it. And surely confidence is key, man. I've seen it work, bro. Confidence is key. Years of self-improvement. Obviously, work on yourself, but like, I've seen the most ugly pull a baddie just off how he holds himself, how you view yourself. It's a real thing, bro. Like, don't take that for granted, though. Muster up the courage to talk to a girl. And even then, you're going to be faced with a lot of rejection. Something women can't relate to. It's those men who learn how to pick themselves back up, stay positive, and continue to work on themselves. That's how you become a decent Period. guy. But unlike women, most men don't Period. have that support group that helps them when they're down. And that's why there's not a lot of decent men. And if you still think I'm spouting nonsense, let's just take a quick look at dating apps. Men have to come up with the most complex, big brain, five headed pickup lines. Meanwhile, Some girls aren't even cute. We just want to date them because he never had a relationship. Well, that's another issue. As a man, bro, you shouldn't really just be looking to just date. You got to find something in somebody. Like, you should actually try to avoid relationships, in my personal opinion, bro. Because it's like a relationship is only a hindrance for somebody on their grind. 
So for you to get yourself into a relationship, you either have to be secure in like where you're at, your position in life and securing yourself and like all of it above, bro. Because if you're not, it's literally a liability. And you also gotta be secure, most importantly, in the person that you're getting with. Like, bro, why would you want to be in a relationship just to be in a relationship? He's brain dead. You're lonely, boo hoo, nigga. Go get some friends, go outside, go get a fucking hobby. Like, you know what I'm saying? Stop being a freaking, I can't even say the word on this shit, man, because I'm on Twitch, but like, you know what I mean, man. Winner most women can muster up is, hey, and then they have the nerve to call the guy boring and, and say that he doesn't know how to carry on a conversation, even though they're providing the most dry responses ever. Because again, you know, like I said, women don't have to try. Women get matches just for breathing. Meanwhile, a literal male supermodel. The results are in. I use this account, Roy. He's quite the chick. What if you lacking the attention from a female? Listen, if you need attention from a female, you're just not busy enough, I think. If you constantly think about girls, there's more to life than girls, man. Honestly, man. Like, if you ain't got a purpose, you're, that's the first thing you gotta look at. You gotta get a purpose for yourself that you can strive towards every day. That way you're not always thinking, oh damn, I don't have a girlfriend right now. Oh damn, I don't have any hoes. Like, bro, honestly, on everything, like, once you get that girlfriend, hallelujah, great for you, you know what I'm saying? But make sure she's the right one for you and not just because you lonely, bro. Too many guys are getting into relationships because they lonely. There's a thing called hookup culture. Now that is a whole different thing. If you are touch deprived and you know you want a little action, you can go out on a night out and do your thing. I ain't saying that that, that is a problem. You can definitely go out and do that. I encourage that, but a whole relationship is crazy crazy when you're just because you're lonely you, just because you don't want to wake up alone in your bed just because you don't want to go to sleep late at night and face your demons by yourself learn to be comfortable in your own skin yeah i live by myself i love being by myself i'm not gonna lie like the older i get the more i value my alone time just being by myself bro on everything it gives you time to be friends with yourself bro and that's the best thing i never i do get lonely never is crazy i do get lonely but that loneliness subsides bro it just passes by it's like a quick you know brief moment like damn but then i get back on my shit, nigga. then I, I i i i press that go live button i edit nigga. i have multiple businesses like bro there's so much to life you can do than worry about her and nigga, when i do get lonely you know what i'm saying i can go out and i can get some help like you feel me that's an art to it too the pickup art you know what i'm saying that's a whole different thing but you will never catch me just cuffing no random girl just because i'm fucking lonely that is sad in my opinion chad and i hope none of you niggas do that shit for real chad his real name is gino Palinchi or some shit. Like <laughs> I'm that. making an it's edit. Like one day, bro, Good. and just take a gander at the abundance of hoes this man was able to pull. Now let's take a look at how many matches this grandma has. A grandma oh getting a hundred matches oh. is yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool. We truly live in a society. So if you're a guy out there that's struggling a to very find love, one there. all I can tell you is to keep trying. You know, pull yourself together. Keep keep working on yourself. <laughs> Don't hate on people just because they reject you, you know, move on to the next thing. Don't stop believing in yourself, because once you do that, you fail to be a man, and then you're just like a fucking weird incel that no one wants to talk to. And if all else fails, just kiss your bros, I guess, you know? You know, just become gay. Yeah, that's it, man. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's it right there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah.